Hello folks, this is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom.com and today I want to give you a quick and dirty about blogs, why they're not good silo material, bang out of the box when you set them up, and some of the things that you can do to fix that. Now this isn't going to be an all-encompassing how to do a silo blog today, this is just some of the things that I'm talking about in this article so that you can see actually how to change the setup of the blog. So. Here's a blog that I have. I've had it for a couple of years. It's got a little bit of content on it. It's um, more or less set up right out of the box. You can see that the articles are appearing by default on the home screen. It's got recent posts over here. It's got a couple of little widget thingies that I found and stuck up on the screen. So the reason why this isn't a good blog setup, or I mean a good silo structure setup, is because these things link directly to the article level. So in other words, you click there, you're not going into a, a category, but rather you're going right smack down into the bottom layer of the blog. And it's the same thing with these over here these are linking directly to the article level and what that does is it bleeds the theme of your blog because then your index page is referencing blog posts from all of the different categories. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can change your home page so that it doesn't have that kind of a setup. Okay so I'm here in my uh, WordPress dashboard, uh, the admin dashboard and there's all the standard menus over here. It looks like it's an up-to-date version of the blog, so this should look similar to your blog if you're on the latest version. Now what I want to do is I want to come here to Pages, and I have an About page, but what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to call it the Home page. And I'm just going to say um, some stuff here really fast. Okay, so I just put in a little bit of content here. I created three dummy categories. I don't actually have any categories set up in this blog. It's pathetic. But um, I've got a little bit of um, content there. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this draft. I need to do a couple of more things before I'm ready to actually publish this page. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into my categories and I'm going to create these categories. Oh, well, I do have some categories. Let's see, I don't even remember what I have, but that's okay. I'm going to add that as a category. So now that that one's added as a category, I'm going to come back here and grab this one and add it as a category. Add category. And for some reason I have to refresh this page to get it to show up. And then I'm going to add my last one as a category. And I just want to mention that uh, you'll notice that I'm changing the slugs so that they're um, lowercase and so that the the spaces are replaced with hyphens. It's because in the search engine, hyphens and spaces are equivalent, whereas underlines are not. And um, it's going to take, it's going to find a better match between the same case. Most people don't use mixed case, mixed case in a search engine. They type in everything lowercase. So your best bet is all lowercase with hyphens. Alright, so now we have um, we have our categories and we can find our categories and go hyperlink them over into our page. So I'm back here on my blog and you'll see up here it says uncategorized. It's because I didn't categorize my blog posts. I'm going to throw that in there. I think I probably have to put in category first. Yeah, no, there aren't any posts in the category. All right, good. So if there were posts in this category, it would bring this up. So that is indeed the URL string that I want. I'm going to grab that URL string. This is out of your ability to view, but I just went up into the browser bar and I grabbed that URL string. I'm going to come back here. I'm on my page. This was first time homebuyers in Arizona. First time homebuyers in Arizona, and I'm going to link this to 
my category URL page. Ah, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, I'm in HTML mode. If I go back into visual mode, that should be okay. Hey, check that out. That's what I wanted. Okay, so now I want to do that with the other two, just really fast. I'll just make sure that I covered this from the categories page. I click on this. Um, actually, you know what? I could have picked the slug up off that other page. And then I come here and I'm replacing this in the URL string just to make sure that I've absolutely positively got the right URL before I um, I plug it into my web page and I edit this. I highlight it, hit the hyperlink, put the hyperlink in there, add the link. Okay, so now I've got my quick and dirty home page. And um, what you probably want to do is put a little blurb here and say, this is the latest news for first time home buyers in Arizona. Something along those lines, right? So you want a little bit of a content on this page. You don't just want the links to your to your um, category page. If you've got this all done, you can uh, you can hit the uh, save draft. And so. I don't actually want to publish that, I don't think. Maybe I do. But I'm going to come down here. <laughs> you can see how often I do this. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rearrange my pages now and make a home page my home page. And the way that we do that, we click down here under settings. There's an option for reading. We click that and we say the front page displays, by default it displays your latest posts. I want it to display a static page. And ah, so this is where it tells me I need to, this isn't a, a page that I can select, so that's because it's not published. So I'm going to come back up here to pages and I'm going to find my home page and I'm going to actually publish that. Boom, now it's published and I'll come back down here to reading and I'll click a static page and boom, home page. Now it's selectable. And um, let's go ahead and save our changes and then we're going to come back here to my first time home buyer. Oh, that's not actually the page I want. Where I want to go is home. So come back here to my home page and now you can see, boom, there's my home page. It's no longer my latest posts, but now it's the content that I created along with links to my category pages. So this is a quick and dirty about how you change that. Now obviously you're going to want to go into your widgets and take off your recent posts page and um, let's just do that really fast. We've got, um, under Appearance here, we've got Widgets, and I want to take off Recent Posts, and this is something that I can just delete. Boom, it's gone. Don't have to save anything, it's just gone. And now, when I do a refresh, my Recent Posts are gone. So there you go. Oh categories. Yeah, having the categories there is fine. It's kind of a repeat of what you got here, but it's fine because that's still your categories. I'd probably take it off because you've got it anchor text links here in the middle of your content, which is much stronger anyway. But you know what? It's nice to have your category pages on all of your other pages. That's what you want. You don't want post pages. You want the categories so that you've got basically your silo landing page available from every page. That makes it easier for your visitors to navigate. So I might just leave that on there. Or I might edit the pages page and take it off of the pages page just so that it doesn't show up on the home page. But that's kind of advanced HTML and I definitely don't want to get into that today. This has been a quick and dirty how you can take your blog from its standard implementation and make it into something that's a whole lot more silable. We'll come back and talk more about blogs and what you can do to tweak them out. Thanks folks, this is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom.com.